I just wanted to make kind of a little forest area. I remember seeing you in here one time. Yeah, I think this is where I met you first, Crystal. Yeah, I think you're correct on that. Here's you got a bunnies. Critter. Hide it so from Rally. She's still running around with her bow out. <laughs> oh no, I love animals. I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> Might take Here's it home with me though. Here's a little critter. This one's not so friendly. So the owner of this dimension is Camouflage, and she's a rogue, and she uses a bow and arrow, so it's kind of all about archery and stuff. And you'll start to notice some things, like there's a bird perch on the porch. And you can see in this painting, over this teeny tiny roll top desk that there's a little owl. This roll top desk is really really nice as well. Thank you. The owl the is the, just cute. the owl is the one that's upstairs, right? On the roost? Yep. So every level is a room. So here's the living room. Now are these chairs by the fireplace made out of books, I'm guessing? Yep. Yay, I got one right! <laughs> Yay. They look really nice as well because they do look like little leather rec like recliners. Yeah, books work for so many things. I love the views. You made every single one so far just beautiful when you gaze out the windows. Thank you. And the sliding shutters as well, they're really nice on the windows. Yeah, they they let a lot of the view in, so I thought she would, you know, want to see a lot of her forest. And this is just like a library and I put a little half bathroom there. And this is this room is where visitors start to get sort of a sense that there's something about a bird because there's another perch there there's a little cage with tiny little white mice in it there's a big cage over there that you know there's it's empty but something obviously lives there I like the detail of the bird feeder on the door Yeah I was just oh, about to say that And then we have the dining room. So a little behind the scenes on this dimension is I didn't use toolbox for a long time. In this dimension I thought I must use toolbox and so this is the dimension I built while I was trying to learn toolbox so that's why I have that little spinning decoration on the wall and the you know you can tell the blinds or copy paste and all uh, you know used toolbox toolbox is amazing and dimension tools I don't know what I'd do without them now I started off um, not using it too and what a lifesaver they are oh they are I love them now and then oh boy another kitchen I try to make the kitchens different so every items, you know, not every kitchen that you see of mine is looks exactly like the others. I don't know, I think 
it's maybe a little easier in the kitchens than the bathrooms, but they still kind of run together. I love these little glasses too, the little wine glasses. Oh, thanks. That was way before we had goblets. So now we're getting kind of up to the less public areas of the roost. This first little bedroom is intended to be a guest room. Small but nice enough for a guest. You don't want them to stay a long time anyway. I love these little hooks as well on the wall. Yeah, I wish we had items that were more easily easy to manipulate into like, you know, a coat hanging on a hook or something like that. I've try I have tried to do um a um a, what is it like a coat rack and things like that as well and I've struggling myself <laughs> with those. Yeah. So then here's the here's camouflage's bathroom and then there's a little laundry room on beyond it. Washer and dryer as well. Excellent. No hand washing. <laughs> I like how you've got the accents on the sink um, and the tub. Thanks. What did you use for the tub? It's books. <laughs> and this is just a little like walkabout room. You can walk all the way around all four sides of the the roost building. Good thing you got the rail there so I don't Quite fall. The yeah, I just love these cherry trees. They make anything look beautiful. It is definitely an amazing view up here. Yeah, thank you. And then here's Camouflage's bedroom. I love the here's hanging another... lanterns. Oh, thank you. I love those New Year's uh, lamps. They're gorgeous. And there's, you see, another little, you know, bird roost over there. Just imagine if you've never been here and you see the picture of the owl and then you start seeing all these roosts and that owl, you know, the room with the cage. It does lead up nicely to the bird because it's kind of like why you know ooh, another another perch. Yeah. And then, and here then he there's, is. yep. So Bridget is saying about He's the little amazing. little washroom that she likes clean clothes and she likes the white noise. What's not to like? So Devonita goes to folding. She loves the washing <laughs> though. Bridget obsessed with laundry. Yeah, you know, she just did a type out loud about um, kiwi and throwing it in a bag or piling it on the floor. <laughs> Devin is saying the owl is great and Teradin is saying awesome morph. Oh, thank you. So what did you use to make this little guy? He is a red bag, some dragon scales, um hmm some of the little quills the quill pen pen and ink and his eyes are a closed scroll they're both from that one item and i'm drawing a blank now on his nose is it cheese Oh, it is. It's a cheese wedge. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> His beak, I should say. 
Yeah, you can actually days, walk so. out on on the roost, and if you look down across the pool, there's a archery target down there. I gotta be careful with my feet, because then this I'll just do I'll what fall. I just did. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, there we go, I've joined you. <laughs> so glad there's no falling damage in this game, I'd have been dead. <laughs> Give you guys an idea of how many stories we just fell. Um, yeah, there's the roost. Kind of reminds me like Assassin's Creed. It looks to me like a giant birdhouse, especially with the um, the beam coming out as well. It does look like a birdhouse at the top. That's exactly what it's supposed to be because of the whole owl thing. It, de it definitely reminds me of a birdhouse. Definitely. Well, that's good. Thank you. It worked then. That's not quite all of my dimensions, but I know everybody's tired of seeing mine now. No, we usually run it for about two hours, because then that gives me an hour in between, because I do an indie game and band set on the station that starts right. in an hour. So mm -hmm. I kind of transition from one into the other. So you want me, we want to keep going? Um, no, we got about five minutes left for the wrap-up. Oh, um, we can actually come back great. and see you again.